Very few were involved. It wasn't an issue in the student body elections here. Uh, it's not something that students get agitated. The editor of a major student newspaper, uh, not in the South, but of a big time, Big Ten team, told me that the students on his campus couldn't care less about the athletes, that they are segregated off in other dorms, that they are like circus performers. They are to cheer and to boo, but not considered fellow uh, students. They are glorified, and therefore people don't really care about issues of equity as they, per as they pertain to these fellow students. And the time has come now when the faculties, the administrators, and the trustees of the several big-time schools have got to sit down together and say that this deterioration in intercollegiate athletics has got to stop. What rights do these athletes have that the NCAA is abrogating by collusion, not by law, to say that athletes alone are the ones that cannot earn a livelihood from their immense talent that is generating millions of dollars? Any other student on campus can get a job, can start a business, can start Facebook, and make a billion dollars, and we would applaud their energy. We would applaud their enterprise, and the very fact that they're trying to make money, we would applaud that, too. But for college athletes alone, we call them dirty if they make money. Uh, it couldn't have happened without the trustees and the boards of governors and the boards of trustees that run our universities to endorse it. And so what I would say that if you want reform, don't look first at ESPN. Go to the boards of trustees in our universities and say, what do you want? I've been told within the last 48 hours here that athletes who want to come talk to me about the equities of college sports at Chapel Hill cannot come see me even privately because their coaches won't let them. This is not a place of free inquiry, which is what it should be if you have that kind of control vested in people who are not even on the faculty of this university that's, that is dedicated to free thought on fundamental matters. I, I think it's unlikely that anything is going to get done. I think that's the most likely thing that we're going to just keep going unless there's something external like a court case or maybe the con concussion issue gets so big or there might be some big scandal, but I think history would say the universities want this, and it's, it's like the old Pogo cartoon, we have met the enemy, and he is us. <laughs>